And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with the Game Boy Geek. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Today we are rolling up to the gates of Nottingham. Some of us might have some cheese and bread, maybe some apples, possibly some chickens running around. We're going to be bringing them in, hopefully legally, into Nottingham. But some of us might be bringing some illegal contraband in, and we're trying to slip those past the Sheriff of Nottingham. This is a game for three to five players. Uh, it's all about bluffing and a little bit about negotiation. Let me show you how it's played, and I will see you on the other side. At the beginning of Sheriff of Nottingham, you get to pick your player board and your color. Uh, really cool cartoonistic uh, artwork here on all of these. So we've got, you know, the yellow guy, the green guy looks like that, nice and cool. Uh, we've got Purple, who's a lady. We have the red guy with the big jug there, the big uh, carton. And then we have the guy with the bread. So let's say I'm blue. You would also get a bag of that color. You also get a pile of money. We basically have uh, 50 bucks to start with. And let's show you how our turn works. Each round, one person's going to be the sheriff, and everyone's going to end up being the sheriff twice, unless it's a three-player uh, three player game, then everyone's going to be it uh, uh, three times. So someone's going to take the sheriff, and they're going to be uh, ex inspecting possibly people's bags as they're bringing it in. So let's talk about, if you're not the sheriff, how do things work? What we see in the first phase, we have the market phase. What that allows us to do is trade out some cards. So you start with six cards at the beginning of every round, and let's say these are my six cards. I've got the green cards are legal goods. And if you do get those passed, uh, fine. They'll be worth that many gold at the end of the game. And basically whoever has the most gold at the end is going to win. There's also some red cards known as contraband. This is illegal goods that you're trying to sneak by the sheriff by bluffing right to his eyes. So how this works is I have six cards. And if I want, I can try to discard some and pull some out of the deck. So let's say I'm going to, let's say I discard... So you can take either from the top or from either discards, but let's say I wanted an apple and a cheese. I would have to take, let's say I just wanted the apple for example, I would have to take the apple and the cheese because the cheese is on top of it. So in this case I would take both of these cards and I would then take the two that I want and discard them in either pile, but they have to go in the same pile, maybe I'll discard that. Uh, maybe um, I discarded more than I wanted and I can also take one off the top but you have got to take the ones out of the discard first and then off the top if you want to get new cards. So the sheriff saw that I took some cheese um, and we have step two is loading the merchant bag. So I'm going to load any amount of cards up to five. You can never load all of them in my bag. And so I might either try to be honest and just pull three cheese in there. I might want to say I have three cheese but maybe try to sneak something in. Um, and let's do that. He saw me grab cheese Let's say this, I'll grab two cheese and a silk and I will put it inside my bag. And then the coolest part about these bags is they snap nice and loud and it, it has sort of a, uh, a good effect when, when bags are being opened. Once you hit a snap, everyone goes, oh. So we snap it shut. Once everybody's bags are uh, snapped shut, we then go to the third phase, which is declaration. So everyone is gonna declare right away what they have. Now, a few rules on declaring. I put three cards in this bag. I can only choose one of the legal goods to say I have, but then however many cards are in here, that's how many I have to say I have. So even though I put two cheese and one illegal good, I have to say I have three cheese. Well, because there's three cards in there. I could have picked any good, but since I have cheese in there, I'm selecting that as my one good, and I'm saying I have three cheese. And when you do this, you look not, the, not this sheriff, but the person who's acting as the sheriff, the real human, right in their eye. And you're saying, Sheriff, I have three cheese. And in order, everyone's going to go around and declare to their eyes how many of what they have. After everyone's declared, the sheriff can go in any order and decide to either let someone go and open their sack, or he will pull it open and see what he can find, hoping to find them lying. So uh, this is where a lot of the bluffing and negotiation comes in. For example, the sheriff might grab this and I know I have something illegal in there. I might say, uh, he might be looking at me and looking very suspicious and I might say, you know what, sheriff, I'll give you three gold if you don't let me, you know, if you look the other way and you allow me to go. Someone else might say, hey, I'll pay you four if you open up his bag. So other people can go against you. You can go against the sheriff. You can even trick the sheriff and say, hey, I'll pay you three not to open my bag 
even though you all have only good good stuff in here, just to trick them. So it's a lot of bluffing, double bluffing, um, just trying to make people not be able to guess what you're doing. So let's say he goes, all right, you're through, you, I, I trust you. So what he would do is he would, he would give it back to you and you would snap it open and you would take it. And what you would do is you'd put the legal goods next to or underneath where uh, they're supposed to go here. So we have cheese right here. And you would take the illegal silk that I compensated in and I would put it here face down. So he knows right now that I lied to him about something. And he'll remember that future turn, so will other people. Now, if, if he indeed did not, uh, if he did uh, open it up and didn't trust me, this would get confiscated because it's illegal. It's not what I said it was. Even if it was a chicken, which is legal, because I said cheese, this would get confiscated and I would owe him two. But in this case, he would confiscate it and I would owe him $4 because of his troubles and he would put this in one of the discard piles. Now, on the other end of the things, if I am telling the truth, let's say I just brought these two in and he opened it up, he would owe me $2 for each of the ones that he screwed up on or, or wrongly accused me for. So the sheriff might have to pay if you're telling the truth and he snaps it open, or you might have to pay or vice versa. And so that's how sort of one run works. Once the sheriff has looked at all the bags or not, let people through, everyone puts their cards down there, that's the end of the round. The sheriff will then pass to the next player. And again, everyone keeps, continues doing that. You'll draw back up to six cards, you'll start a new round, and you'll do this till everyone has been the sheriff twice in a four or five player game or three times in a three player game. And then final scoring will happen. So in final scoring, you've got money left over, that counts as stuff. You have gold for each of the good ones, that the legal goods that you've taken out, but then you have things of majority. So if I have the most apples of anybody that, that I've gotten through, it's 20 points. Second player, 10 points. Cheese is 15 and 10 for first and second. Bread is 15 for 10 and chickens are 10 for five. You know, because they have different amounts. For example, the, the apples are the most, uh, the most widely available, so it's harder to get that but the points are more. Where the chickens are less, there's less chicken cards than anything, but they're actually worth more than the other cards, and you don't get as much point for having the majority. So it's kind of a balancing act there. So you add all that up, you add all the end game coins up, you add it all up, and whoever has the most dollars and cents at the end is the winner. All right, well, there's Sheriff of Nottingham. This was another one of my top three games that I was interested in at Gen Con. Had a lot of buzz. I typically love, love, love any games that are built around negotiation. Um, now, so this game is, uh, for me, it was a lot of fun. I must put a disclaimer that this is the first game in the Dice Tower Essentials line, and I am on the Dice Tower Network, so take this with a grain of salt. Uh, but I'm gonna be honest here. I really do like the game. Um, we have lots of fun playing it. You'll have a lot of laughs. It's really about the head fake and about the, the you know, just looking into someone's eyes and totally bluffing around. Doing one thing one time, doing the opposite the next time, keeping them guessing, not letting them know what, you know, what, what you're really doing. Subsequent plays of this, with the same people, the game gets even better. Because you can start going down traps that you've led games in the past that they remember and you totally screwed them up. Oh, hey, Sheriff, I'm going to discard a couple of uh, cheese here. I'm going to pick up two bread. Okay, Sheriff, I'm bringing in two bread. Oh, you slid past two contraband. Next time he's going to remember that. So you do something opposite. Or you do the same thing again, try to sneak it to him again. Uh, even in just one game at Gen Con of this, and I've played it multiple times since then, uh, this one, Rob Sarian, the guy who does the, 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 the Dice Tower website, gosh, everything he did, he kept people guessing. We thought he was going to do this because he did it last time, he did something else. As soon as you knew you thought you knew what he was going to do, he would switch it up, and he ran away with the game. He did an extra job. We were laughing at how many times he just kept messing with us. Uh, so it is one of those games. Now, I will say I don't like it as much as I thought I was going to, but once again, I probably had unrealistic expectations for this game. I was hoping it was going to be the game of the con. It is an excellent game. It's a fun game. It's very group dependent. Uh, there are people that I have in my groups that do not like to bluff, and they hate this game. Uh, but if you're with a group that likes to bluff, that likes to negotiate, it will probably go over really well. I was hoping there would be more negotiation and less just straight out bluffing. Um, I felt like there was more bluffing and less negotiation happening like, hey, you know, me and you, we'll pay two and have them open up. That stuff, sort of stuff does happen, and it might have just been my group. But it didn't happen as much as I would have liked, so it became more of a bluffing game. Those that like Coup and those that like Masquerade put some extra elements on top of that and a completely different twist. If you like those types of things, you're probably going to really like this. So overall, if you really like bluffing, if you like laughing around and messing with your buddies, lying to their face, having a lot of fun, this is a beer and pretzels type of game that is a lot of fun. If you're looking for pure negotiation and you don't like the bluff, this one might not be for you. But anyway, that's Sheriff of Nottingham. You'll probably have a lot of laughs if, if, uh, if you like this type of thing. 
and it just came out of Gen Con. It's going to be available, I think, in the next month uh, through distribution. Sheriff and Nottingham from Arcane Wonders. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Yeah. Yeah.